Mary is a 52-year-old female who has never smoked but has suffered from allergies since childhood. She treats these allergies with a nasal spray. She has been employed for five years as a medical laboratory manager in a public hospital. She presented to the NIOH clinic complaining of intermittent blocked nose and headaches which she usually experiences while at work and decrease substantially at home. The NIOH conducted an investigation to determine whether her symptoms could be work-related. During the investigation, water-damaged walls and ceilings were observed in certain working areas. Air and surface samples, i.e. paint scrapings and swabs, were collected from different areas, including laboratories, storeroom, tea room, and the patient's office. As part of the clinical evaluation, the patient's blood was also collected and tested for allergy to various mold species using the mold mixture, which consists of various molds. The NIOH bioaerosol laboratory results revealed the presence of various molds. In addition, the patient's blood also showed high levels of mold mixture alternaria alternata and moderate levels of aspergillus. After six years of disabling symptoms, Mary's health improved after repairing the leaking hospital roof following the investigation and recommendation by the NIOH. After three years, a follow-up assessment was conducted. At this point, Mary was negative for aspergillus species with moderate levels of alternaria alternata and no other respiratory symptoms. The nasal provocation test was not performed for her. Therefore, a clinical diagnosis of probable occupational allergic rhinitis was concluded. This highlights the importance of immediately repairing water damage building problems and alleviating ill health complaints. This case highlighted that water damaged buildings could be a source of exposure to mold spores. Effective preventative measures to mold exposure can be through several remediation steps such as proper maintenance of buildings to minimize exposure to the sensitizers, maintaining indoor relative humidity to below 60% to minimize mold growth, recognition of the potential of workplace exposures by clinicians who should have a high suspicion index will more likely lead to appropriate diagnosis and effective management. Improving the awareness of employers, workers, and clinicians on occupational allergic disorders, specifically caused by molds. Please contact us for the services listed on the screen at info at nioh.ac.za or call us on 011-712-6400.